Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So I'm starting the text animation uh, series where I would show you how to animate text in different, different multiple ways using GSAP on the Elementor. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you some one of the basic way of animating text using GSAP. And also subsequently, I'll be showing you other ways of going about animating and creating advanced text animation using GSAP. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. So in Elementor editing screen, what I'm going to do here is I click on this plus icon here, select the flexible container, then select this structure here, then I'll set the content width to full width, and then for the minimal height, I'll change the unit to VH and give it the value of 100. Then I'll come over, justify content to the center, and align item to the center. I'll go to the style option, for the background type, I'll set it to classic and give it the background color black. I'll go to advanced settings, for the padding, I'm just going to set it to the unit to REM and give it the value of 4 REM. Then I'll come over here to add element and select the heading widget. Now over here, I'm just going to add text, creative, text, review, animation. Okay. Then I'll come over, set the HTML tag to H1. And then go to the style option. Let's just tweak it a little bit. Come over to the font family, set it to Helvetica. And then for the font size, I'm going to set the you need to REM and give it the value of 4 REM. Font width, I set it to bold. Transform, I set it to capitalize. And then I'm just going to come over here and set the color to white. So we now have this basic design here, like this. And this is the text we're going to be animating. Okay. So now what I'm going to do here is I'll just come over here, come to our add element and then search for the HTML widget. Okay. I'm going to drag it and drop it at the bottom here. All right, then I'll head over to my code editor. We have the basic uh, text animation effect here, and I'm going to explain to you what this does and show you how to use this simple line of code here to create different kinds of uh, text review animation on your website easily. Okay, so I'm just going to paste it here. Then I'm going to come over here and just expand this a little bit. Now, what we're going to do here is we're just going to copy this class here. Now, this text review class. And then we're going to add it to our text. So what it does is that any text that has that this particular class, the review animation is going to work for it. Okay. So now let's come over here and explain this. Now this year is our basic uh, GSAP CDN. And then this year is a split text plugin that we'll be using. And over here is where we create a variable for it. And then so that any class that has this, any, uh, yeah, any item on our page, any text on our page that have this uh, class here will be animated. Now the type of uh, split text we'll be doing here uh, tree, which is uh, the lines, either we can split it by lines and animate it, and then we can split it into words and animate it, and then split it into characters and animate it as well. And I'll show you how to go about all three of them to create different kinds of design. So now to do that, you're gonna come over here, you can see here, now, let me zoom this a little bit. Now, you can see here, what we have here is, uh, over this line here, we have GSAP from. Now, what this means is that our animation, where our animation will start from, okay? So, the split, this split here is this variable here. And then, these lines here is what we'll be animating. That is, the line of text that we'll animate, okay? So, over here, we now have this Y, set it to 30. That means we're setting it from the y-axis, which is the animation starting from the bottom up, and then the opacity will be zero from the bottom. And then we're now adding this duration here so that it will take 0 0.8 seconds to perform that animation. So now let's publish this. And then let's preview this. You can see, you can just see what happens. So if you refresh this page, you're gonna see the animation. Now let's come back here to our code. Okay, so you can increase this or you can decrease this duration and then you can also increase this uh, y-axis value here. Okay, so now let's try to animate words. So we're going to, all we just need to do, if you want to animate words, you just replace these lines here, this split dot lines, you now set it to split dot words. Okay, now if you should publish this, you're going to notice something. And when you come over here, that the words are not uh, animated because it's happening all at the same time. What is supposed to happen is that each word should be animated differently. So we're not getting that because uh, 
we need to add another cl class here. We need to add a stagger effect to our words. So to do that, all we just need to do is come over here, add a comma, and then come down here, and then we're going to add stagger. Now the stagger value is from zero to one. So we can set the stagger to one, and then let's come over here, publish this. And then we'll come over here, we can see. However, you can see that the effect is a little bit slow when you refresh it. It's a little bit slow, so you can reduce the stagger from one, you can set it to uh, 0 .0 0.2, and then you come over here, publish it, and then you see the individual words are now animated like this. And if you do not like this duration, you can increase the stagger value from, remember it ranges from zero to one. So you can just play around to have the perfect stagger value you want. Okay. So now that is it for how to animate the individual words here. All you just need to do is add the stagger and then you give the stagger value from zero to one. However, if you want to animate the characters, each character so you just need to do is to come over here and change these words here to characters, to chars like this and then when you come over here you publish this now you come over here you're gonna see how it's coming in this is really really slow as you can see very very slow so now let's come over here and then let's remove the duration let's remove the duration and then let's reduce our stagger effect to to one and let's publish this and see Uh, you can see this is how it comes out. This looks better. Okay, so now I'm also going to show you other ways of creating this uh, split characters animation like that. Okay, so what you can do here is we can come over here now. And then for this stagger here, we're going to add a from for the stagger. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, we just come over here and let's add, let's add the curly braces here. And then now we're going to set this each. Now, what this means is that for each 0 0.1, okay, now our animation should start from the end. We can say from the end, okay, and then let's publish this and let's see how our character gets animated. Now, come over here, see, it's the animation now starts from the end. To the start now when you come over here and then you now change this value here to center and then you publish this okay we'll come over here, you can see our animation is now starting from the center like that if you refresh it you notice the animation is starting from the center okay now the another version another way of starting your uh, character animation that I kind of like and play around with is this particular value, the random. Now let's publish this and come over here and see how animation now starts randomly like that. You refresh it, it does the same. Okay. So that's pretty much it about this tutorial. As you can see, I've been able to show you how to animate your text either by line or by words and even by character easily with the GSAP. Okay. So in subsequent uh, tutorials, I'll also show you how to go advanced with this text animation. This is just a basic way of uh, creating the review animation for your text. Okay. So if you like what you see and if you learn something new from this tutorial, remember to give this video a thumbs up and feel free to drop a comment wherever you're confused and I'll do what to attend to as much as I can. Can. And if you're new to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get notified first when I drop a new video. But until now, see you. Bye bye.